Yo, what's good everyone? Eddie here, live from the spot. You already know, bring you another YouTube video as always and as usual. Just came out of seeing uh, the creator. So this is my initial first couple thoughts here. So bear with me because this movie, I mean, let me just tell you this. This movie is so beautiful to look at. So just letting you know now. But before I get to my review, so I got this poster right here, which is really, really dope. Uh, shout out to AMC on that. That was this is pretty cool. So I will keep this poster for sure. Got something refreshing, which is this. This is not an ad, but <laughs> my apologies. But uh, that is uh, Coca Cola Zero Cream Soda flavor. So yeah, that is uh, amazing. What's your go-to? Uh, I just I'm curious by the way. So anyway. Let's get into the review. <laughs> Future war between the human race and artificial intelligence, aka AI. Uh, Joshua, a hardened ex special force agent, grieving the disappearance of his wife, is recruited to hunt down and kill the creator. With the power to end the war and the man itself, or, or mankind itself, pretty much. Uh, Joshua and his team of elite operatives journey across enemy lines into the dark heart of AI occupied territory. The AI is known to be the form of a young child. A fascinating idea for sure and and pretty much credit to the uh, director himself, Gareth Edwards, who also wrote it and who also produced it. Because in my own opinion, this is a science fiction film that you don't really get to uh, explore or to see uh, on a daily basis, not even on daily years. Uh, but definitely this film over here is so amazing to look at like I said right in the beginning uh, It all it starts John David Washington uh, Gemma Chan, Ken Watanabe who is a great actor himself for his caliber You can see why it's shot in IMAX and it is I mean, it's just very beautiful to look at um, The music by Hans Zimmer. I mean, you know, it's it's top-notch as usual I uh, want it to be uh, as epic, uh, but I mean, it's not his best, obviously, but it's definitely right up there. And I'm, I'm so glad that this film exists, and especially because of its budget, uh, which apparently uh, it's 80 million. That is not a very expensive science fiction film, to say the least. Uh, that's actually a good range for, uh, for a film like this. That the story itself, uh, you know, it's not the best, it's not the greatest. It does have a beginning, middle, and end. Uh, that ending actually has, uh, depending on one viewership, it really is strong. Um, it's And it's really down straight emotional. But it's also kind of a relief um, when you really think about it. But it, it's a debatable ending. But the way it begins though, Top notch. I think that's a great way to start the film, especially knowing about how the world is. A unique take on AI, and especially in today's world of how people see AI, uh, either good or evil. Like we never know. Will they coexist with humans? Like will they work together? Like will it will it be a thing? I thought John David Washington. You know, he at times he could be bland. Uh, but when there is an emotional arc, he brings it. I think this is, I think to me, I think this is one of his best performances yet. I remember him obviously in Tenet. Uh, that's, that's literally the highlight where he was really known as. But for him to carry this film, especially of how he carries it with the little girl. So the little girl who plays Alfie, uh, she's a first time actress apparently, so congrats to her. She did, she was so cute in the film. She was really great and uh, she was pretty funny. She actually brought a lot of character. Uh, so good for her, you know, I mean, and she wasn't annoying anyway. I mean, I thought her take as the AI was, you know, pretty cute and you just believe in her character. And as her as the AI, it really is the standout, especially throughout the whole film. Um, her name is Madeline Yuna Voiles. So good job, Madeline. You did great. Yes, there'll be at times where it feels cliche from the um, from the middle to the end. I hope you guys do uh, see it. It is pretty. It does have emotional arcs. 
I really wish that the characters had more to do, like side character wise. At least the edits of the film felt a little, you know, off-putting, especially in the action scenes. Because they'll be like, you know, where the hell did he came from? Or why why is this happening now? Like, it mixes up the uh, the film, but I get it because of, you know, plot purposes and whatnot. But over and all, I, I had a really, really good time watching this. It's a very, very serious, heavy film, especially for a sci-fi film, like I said. Uh, so I definitely give it a B. I And I, I wouldn't mind watching this movie again just because of its scale. But also, there's a lot to pick up on this film. Shout out to Gareth o. Edwards, who uh, did this film and the, cin the cinematography uh, by Greg F Frazier and Oren Soffer, uh, as I am naming those guys, credit to them too because th you can see how beautiful this film is in, at the end of the day and that's that's the one uh, one of the best things about it and you can see how you just buy into the world itself and, it, and it's something that is truly unforgettable and I, I think until the test of time this is going to be one of the best uh, sci-fi films that probably uh, was ever made uh, but we'll see because you know hey a lot of people uh, really love Rogue One from the very first time when he uh, directed a Star Wars film but like I said Gareth Edwards has a vision and I hope he creates more uh, you know films that are not just not just emotional but just have unique visions on any given uh, genre itself so let me know what you guys think about the film if you ever had the chance to see it uh, please like comment share you already know subscribe to my youtube channel and let's keep going guys thank you all so much till next time yeah